Yo, what's up guys? It's Noah here. Uh, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at the NBA board on prize picks uh, for the NBA slate on Thursday, November the 17th. Now, we have a, weird, a really weird slate today. We only have three games, and they're all West Coast games. So basically, all three games tonight start either at 10 o'clock Eastern Time or 10.30 Eastern Time. So for all my fellow East Coasters, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a late night for us watching some basketball. But if you guys are you know looking for some props for tonight to sweat out for these late night games, I got two picks I want to share with you guys in this video. Uh, normally try and give out at least two or three picks. Um, obviously for shorter slates like this, it's harder to find you know a ton of props to love when there's just less games available. So just two picks I'm gonna give out in this video. Uh, before we do get started though, talking through our two picks for today. As always, if you guys do enjoy these uh, these prospects videos, please. Hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And if you are new to Prize Picks, check them out. Sign up with promo code NOAH. You can see at the bottom of the screen. You sign up with my promo code and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Uh, I do want to mention, said this in yesterday's video if you guys caught it, but Prize Picks made a big announcement yesterday. They are now offering six pick flex entries. So you can uh, make up to six picks now and you can win up to 25x your money on Prize Picks. So if you're someone that likes to chase those big payouts and you don't play on Prize Picks yet, Definitely get over there, take a look at those six pick entries, see if there's any, if you can find six picks you like tonight, make a six pick entry and potentially win 25x your money. Um, you can do so now on prize picks. That's a you know another incentive to sign up if you guys are not playing over there yet. Make sure that when you sign up, use that promo code, promo code NOAH, and you will get your first deposit matched up to $100. Uh, before we do start uh, talking through our two plays for today, guys, though, I want to recap our plays from yesterday. So we gave out three picks in yesterday's video. Once again, went two and three, uh, so two and one. Um, you know, again, sucks to not cash all three plays. Obviously, every day that I give plays to you guys, I want to try and hit every single play, but it's just it's it's impossible. It's literally impossible to do that. But we did go two for three, cashed on uh, cashed on Lame or not Lamelo, but we cashed on SGA's PRA. Man, SGA just continues to be just a, a wagon. The dude just crushes every single night. And I said this in yesterday's video, like if you just if you've been taking SGA over points, SGA over PRA every day, you're probably doing pretty good because the dude just goes over his lines every single day. It's crazy. He had another huge game yesterday. Uh, and then we also took Al Horford over seven rebounds. Horford had a really good rebounding game. He had like five rebounds in like the first five minutes of the game. Uh, finished, I think, with like 10 or 11 boards, and we took him over seven. So that one hit. Unfortunately, the one play that did not hit for us was LaMelo over seven and a half assists. I really liked that play. Felt really good about it. It had really good odds. Um, his line got bumped up to eight later on as the day went on. Um, I know on DraftKings Sportsbook, they had LaMelo over seven and a half assists. It was juiced to like minus 160, and they actually wound up bumping his line as well. So I felt really good about that play. LaMelo had like six assists with, I think, about three minutes left or two minutes left. He did hurt his ankle. I I'm sure most of you guys saw that. It was really unfortunate because he he's just come back from an ankle injury, and it was the same ankle that he hurt. He stepped on a fan's foot sitting courtside and hurt his ankle with like two minutes left, had to come out of the game. So hopefully LaMelo's okay. Um, obviously, you know, sucks to, to lose that, you know, to lose that prop, but it is what it is, man. Still went two and three, so hopefully you guys were able to make some money yesterday. I always recommend you take the picks I give out in this video, either do a flex play, so that way, you know, even if we get a pick wrong, you can still win some money, or you mix and match them, so you make different two-pick entries with all the picks I give out. Now for today, since we just have two picks to give out, obviously we need to hit both of these picks to, to, to win, but hopefully we can do so. Um, so I got a points and assist prop I like for today, guys, and then I have an assist prop that I like. So for points plus assists, we're going to talk about De'Aaron Fox. 31 and a half points plus assist. I like the over here for De'Aaron Fox. And one of the reasons I like this over, you know, I always I always look through the, the, the sportsbook's odds before I get on this video and, and, you know, take a look at the props. And right now on DraftKings Sportsbook, this is a prop that does have really good odds. Now, I'm not a person that just blindly takes props based on odds. I think looking at the odds is very important. Um, I think it will be helpful. But just blindly tailing what the odds have, I, I don't do that personally. I like to at least look a little bit more into it. And when I looked more into this prop, I liked it even more after I looked at the odds. So right now on DraftKings Sportsbook, this prop is currently minus 145 on the over. 31.5 points plus assists for Darren Fox. And normally, Price Picks is not even going to offer props that are minus 145 or juiced higher. So like... They could bump this line to 32 at some point today. They might. I don't know if they will. I've realized they're a lot slower to adjust these props, like the, the points plus assist, the rebounds plus assist. They don't really change these lines much, but like obviously the other props, they really, you know, they, they will adjust those. So they might just leave this at 31 and a half all day. Um, I think it's a good prop though. So this season, Darren Fox has only gone over this line in half of his games, six out of 12 games. 
But what makes me really like this spot for De'Aaron Fox is for one, the matchup is incredible. This Spurs-Kings game of the three games tonight, this is definitely the best game environment on the slate. 237 and a half total here between the Spurs and the Kings. Seven point spread, which I guess is a little worrisome. Could the Kings blow out San Antonio? I mean, it's possible. San Antonio is not a very good team, but I don't think the Kings are that good either. I know the Kings are coming off a really big win against the Nets. I don't know if the Kings have enough firepower to really blow out anyone. Um, obviously, they did last game, but hopefully this game stays close. It has a seven point spread, which I guess is a little worrisome, but if it stays close, I mean, the, the total is so massive in this game. This could be like a, a super, super high scoring game. We could see 120, 115 be like the final score. If you look at pace stats so far this season, these both these teams are top 10 in pace this season, and that's one of the reasons you're seeing the total so high in this game. Uh, the Spurs, they're playing at the seventh fastest pace in the league, and the, uh, and the Kings are playing at the eighth fastest pace in the league. And in terms of defensive rating, both of these teams are bottom five in defensive rating. Kings, 26th in defensive rating, and the Spurs, 29th. So this is basically like a prop just gadanza. I mean, whatever you want to say. Like, this is basically just two fast-paced teams, two bad defensive teams going up against each other. This is exactly what you look for, um, especially if you're looking to take some overs. You want games that are going to be played at a fast pace with little defense, and that's the case here. We know Darren Fox, he plays really well in these fast-paced games. We've seen him have a lot of good games against teams that play fast. I know he had a really big game against the Lakers earlier this season. They're a fast-paced team. Um, when they played the Warriors, I want to say he was you know, he was solid. He had 22 points and 8 assists in that game. But like against the Lakers, he had 32 points and 12 assists. Against the Warriors earlier this season, again, he had 28 points and 6 assists. So these good matchups against fast-paced teams, these are the type of games that, that Fox really thrives in. And obviously the Spurs play no defense. They play really fast. This is a really good spot for Darren Fox. And you know, even looking more into his stats this season, he's averaging you know, a good amount of potential assists, 12.6 potential assists per game. So he leads the team in potential assists. He has the highest usage rate on the team, 29.2% usage rate. So we know the usage is going to be there. The shot attempts are going to be there. And the assists should be there as well in a game that should have a lot of points scored in it. So 31.5 points plus assists for Darren Fox. I like this play quite a bit. Also, I do like his over points, but they actually did bump that line up to 25 and a half. It wasn't 24 and a half earlier today. His assist line also got bumped up to seven. So that's another reason that makes me think points plus assists is going to get bumped at some point, because if you add up his points plus his assist, it's 32 and a half. 25 and a half points plus seven assists is 32 and a half. So they might bump this to 32 and a half at some point or 32. Hopefully by the time I get this video up and you watch this video, it'll still be at 31 and a half and you could play it then. Um, but if you want to pivot to some other props like assist or points or PRA, you could. I think it's just a great spot in general for Darren Fox, and I, I do expect him to have a pretty good game tonight. But the other prop that I like to pair with this one, we're going to stay in the same game. Trey Jones, seven assists. I like the over here for Trey Jones. And I was looking at DraftKings Sportsbook. They actually have Trey Jones' assist line set at seven and a half. Now, it is slightly favoring the under. Um, seven and a half assists is set at minus 125 on the under. But usually, if a prop has minus 125 on the under, it usually, they don't bump it. Like, for example, Kellen Johnson, his assist prop is set at 3.5 on DK Sportsbook with minus 125 on the under, and it's obviously still at 3.5 on prize picks. I don't know why they bumped this down to 7. I figured it would still be at 7.5, but, I, I mean, getting it at 7, I like quite a bit. Trey Jones has pushed this line in 8 out of his last 9 games. He's only gone over this, or gone under this line once in out of his last 9 games. He had 6 assists against the Clippers. Every other game that he's had over his last nine, he's had at least seven assists or more. 10, 9, 11, 9, 7. Then he had the game against the Clippers where he only had six, and then seven, eight, and eight. So he's had a really good hit rate if you'd like to look at that stuff. He's been hitting this prop a ton. Eight out of his last nine games, he's at least had seven assists. And his potential assists have been really good this season. I mean, he's historically been a pretty good facilitator. He's going to be the primary ball handler when he's on the floor. So far this season, Trey Jones averaging 6.9 assists per game, averaging 14.1 potential assists per game. He has double the next guy. So Keldon Johnson is second on the team in potential assists, and he's only averaging 7.2 potential assists per game. So Trey Jones basically doubling up the next guy in terms of potential assists. And over his last nine games, over this stretch of games where he's really been racking up a lot of assists, he's had 15.8 potential assists per game over his last nine, averaging 8.4 assists per game. And basically everything I said about Fox, you can apply to Trey Jones. It's going to be a fast-paced game. There's going to be little defense played in this one. There should be a lot of points scored in this game. And if the Spurs wind up scoring, you know, what it, their team total today is 115.25. If the Spurs wind up scoring 115 points, 
there's a good chance that Trey Jones is going to have his, at least seven assists um, just because he's the primary ball handler and he's going to be the guy facilitating when he's on the floor. It is worth noting that last game, his first game back from illness, he only played like 23 minutes against Portland. He still had 10 assists in those 23 minutes, but his minutes were kind of down last game. But I would expect that to, you know, I wouldn't expect that to continue today. I expect Trey Jones to get back to play in like 32, 34 minutes. Uh, it was his first game back from illness, so maybe they wanted to you know, ease him back in. Now that he's had a couple days off or a day or two off, I think we can expect 32, 34 minutes from Trey Jones in a fast-paced, high-scoring game. I think he has a really good chance to get seven assists. The potential assists have been there. He's the primary ball handler when he's on the floor. And obviously, you know, you look at his last five games, he's at least pushed this in, last, in four out of his last five or all five games. Over his last five, he's at least pushed this line. And over his last nine games, he's gone over or he's pushed in at least eight out of nine games. So good hit rate. Potentials have been there. Fast-paced game. Good matchup. No defense played in this one. I think this sets up really well. As a, you know, it's a good spot for Trey Jones. And just in general, I think this is a prop that could – or this is a game you could be targeting a lot of props from um, just because, you know, there's going to be so many points scored in this one, hopefully at least. But that's what I'm liking for today, guys, for uh, Thursday's little three-game slate. Again, if you're on the East Coast, like myself, it's going to be a late night for us because all three of these games start at 10 o'clock Eastern time or later. So I'm going to be sweating out some props late at night, but nothing wrong with that. I usually stay up late anyway. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're tailing these two picks, I do wish you the best of luck. As always, appreciate you guys checking out the channel, supporting the content. Hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And again, if you are new to prize picks, check them out. Sign up with promo code NOAH. You will get your first deposit matched up to $100 when you do sign up with my promo code. But good luck tonight, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.